that promise from the Lord, go, you will recover. But you see, his character and his disposition was what connected that prophecy to make it come to pass. I'll tell you why. Now, when, when David was, I mean, what's his name? David, right? When he was pursuing, he got to a point where he did not see the people at home. The people he was pursuing, he didn't know which way to go. He didn't know which way they went. So here he was in the wilderness. And here, where he was still thinking of how to save his neck from his own men, he saw a man that was sick. And he knew he was a slave that was sick. David forgot his own sorrow. David forgot what he was going through. Because it is just in his nature to nurture. It is just in his nature to care. So David stood and took care of a dying man. Meanwhile, he had lost everything at that point in time. See how his character worked for him. So a lot of you Christians, you think it's all by praying, speaking in tongues. No, your character will be tested. Before you enter into that supernatural, your character will be tested. Come and ask me. You will be tested sometimes beyond measure. Because God wants to know that the power is not getting into the hands of the wicked. So he showed that the man confessed, I'm a slave. Is that not enough to say? No, he took care of the man. He revived the man. But you know what? His miracle, his direction was in the hand of that slave, of that dying slave. So when he took care of the man, then when the man was revived, what are you doing in the wilderness? I'm the slave of this Amalekite person. We went to Ziglav to carry all the people there away. And on the way I got ill, then my master left me. So see another man's character that's not destroyed his short-lived miracle. So he got victory, right? Because there was nobody to oppose him. He carried all the vulnerable, he carried all the spoiled away, and he thought he got away with it. But because of his disposition and his character, his own slave fell ill and he thought this one will slow us down, stay there and die. He went away. The other person with a disposition of, I will not show you, I don't know you from nowhere, but I can't afford to let you die. But right now, I am not even in the frame of mind, but I will do it for you anyway. That got him direction. So which way did your master go? I will tell you, but please don't send me back to that man. He's a wicked man. And that was the man who showed David which way to go, to go and recover his family, to go and recover all the things that were stolen from him. I say it's time for your recovery. Amen. It's time for restoration. Amen. It's time for you to take back all that has been stolen from Amen. you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. But mind you, character is important to God. Your disposition is important to God. Don't say I'm naturally uncaring. I don't like people. It's not true. You may not like people, but you should have mercy. Have compassion. Compassion, apart from that compassion releasing the information that he needed, compassion will also unlock the power that is at work in you. All the time that Jesus did big time miracle, it was compassion that unlocks the power. Because a lot of you, you think God is the son of God. He was fully 100% man when he was here on earth. And if he hadn't shown compassion, some of the miracles he performed would not have been possible. The Bible said he sat down, he wept. John 11, 35, and Jesus wept. And why was he weeping? He said when he saw the people that he loved, the people that he was ministering to, when he saw their distress, he began to weep. And after weeping, because his own is not just pity party, oh, my people, oh, this is happening to them. When he finished weeping, the power within him had been unlocked. And the next thing is, I have to change this situation. I cannot afford for my people to go through this. Somebody, the compassion in you is unlocking divine. It's unlocking divine, the divine resources that are residing on your inside. As you begin to show somebody compassion, as you, as you, be, as you begin to show somebody some mercy, I say unprecedented power will be unlocked on the inside of you. Resources that you never thought you had will be unlocked for you. Resources upon the surface of this life will be, will be unlocked, will be released into your hands in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And you will see yourself doing wonders, miracles, impossibilities in Jesus' name. Amen. But you've, you've got to show compassion. 
Compassion unlocks the power, unlocks what is residing on your inside. So your character is very, very important. Don't joke with it. The seed you have sown, I wish I could tell you that you can do anyhow, you can do anything to people. God's power will still just continue to work. But it doesn't work that way. But I also got good news for you that you can repent or put those things and make things right and you can continue to enjoy the blessing. You can continue to enjoy the audacious progress in the face of persecution, in the face of opposition, once you've made your way right. But you don't want to make your way right, believe me, the opposition, the persecution can make you perish like an ordinary man. But that is not your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. My people, you are not going to perish. My people, you are going to make your ways right before the Lord. You will follow the principle of the Lord. And you will walk in that audacious progress in Jesus' name. Ephesians 6, 8. The seed you sow. Ephesians 6, 8. So knowing that whatsoever good thing any man does, the same shall he receive of the Lord. Whether that man be born or free. It doesn't matter your status right now. It may be that you feel that I am too young. You may feel that I really don't have a lot to offer to people. You may feel that my own case is different. They really don't need me more. In your little way, in your big way, continue and start making things happen for other people. Don't be self-centered. Don't be self-focused. Think of how other people can benefit from you. Think of how the kingdom can benefit from you. And as you start doing that, God will start making things you cannot make happen for yourself happen for you. So which is why when opposition now comes, opposition you cannot fight, opposition that is bigger than you, God will arise. Not the people you have served, not the people you have helped. God 